Hi, in this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to update uh, attribute table values using a field calculator in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, this is a pretty common operation. Um, it's good to be comfortable with the field calculator, then you can calculate things like in mass and uh, be comfortable doing it on like master layers where like if, uh, you don't want to overwrite data and stuff like that. So we'll kind of do a few checks to make sure that what we are going to change uh, should be the only values that we change that we don't overwrite anything. Um, if you're going to do uh, large numbers of calculations like this, it's always good to ensure that the master layer is backed up just in case you do do some calculations that you weren't expecting or if you were to overwrite data. Uh, so just do like a quick backup or export just so you can always revert if you need to. Um, so we're going to start by, uh, we'll be looking at kind of like a master layer. We have an example of a whole bunch of projects that uh, that we've worked on and we've just imported some new data into this master layer. Uh, you can check out uh, the other video tutorial on how to do that with the link up above. Um, so, so what we're going to do is we'll make, just do a selection. We're going to do a calculation just on a selection or a subset of this data. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it to make sure that you're only focusing on a certain um, subset of that data. You can do a filter or a definition query, or you can do a selection. Um, we'll do a selection here just because we don't have any unique values in this particular data set to extract the information what we're, or the tables or features that we want to update. Uh, so we'll make this the only selectable layer. And then do a selection with the select tool. And we'll start here and go down. And select that whole pipeline and its slurries. And then we're going to open the attribute table. So we can see what fields we're working with. Uh, so you can see there's when you open it, it brings up all of the all the features in that whole data set. So we're just going to focus on the ones we've selected. So we'll use this little tool down here to just show the selected records. So we can see that most of the fields are blank. And essentially, what we want to do. Uh, is add a project number to this. Um, so in the future, it'll be easy to select just a subset of the master layer by project number or by any other like, unique field. Um, so mostly for this one, it's just a project number. So we want to add a project number to this. Uh, so we'll do that through a field calculation by going to the column that we want to uh, do the field calculation on, and then say calculate field, and then a window will pop up. Um, there's a few uh, different essentially program languages that you can use to calculate the field. Um, we can do some pretty complex calculations here. But uh, for this one, it's just going to be a simple text string. Um, so to do a text string calculation, you'll start with a quotation that's a single quote. And then project number, so we'll do, do test project one, close that off. And then, so that's going to be the value that's entered in all the fields that are highlighted there. Uh, can enable undo just in case uh, something unexpected happens. And then hit apply, and then OK. You can see that all of those features have been auto or populated based on that calculation. And then, if we go to the Edit tab, um, we have the option to discard that calculation if it's something that uh, was unexpected or we didn't want to do. Um, this is a local layer, so I think it gives you a little bit more flexibility if you were to calculate for that for an online layer. I think the um, the changes are more immediate, um, so just kind of be careful there. So we hit save. If you want to save the edits, we'll say yes, and there you go. So now we're done. We're out of our edit.
editing session. We'll clear our selection. Go back into there, and then we can go to our App Explorer and click on any of those features, and then we'll have our project number. So that's how to add, quickly add like a unique field based on a selection um, using ArcGIS Pro, the attributes table, and the field calculator. Thanks for watching.